This is a rock slide full of fossils. And this is a professional fossil quarry, because today we're finding out if it's better to pay for a fossil dig or to dig for free on public land. Let's get fossil hunting. And I'll be starting at the Crimson Trailhead in Logan, Utah. We've got about an hour here. We're gonna try to see how many fossils we can find and hopefully try to beat Ben. <laughs> now, when you're looking for fossils, you're not gonna be spotting the big pretty ones right away. You're gonna be looking for little bits and scraps. Those are the clues that tell you where to start looking for the good stuff. Oh, this isn't a fossil at all, but there's a modern gastropods shell. Oh, you can see right there. That looks like the outside of a coral. Probably some more of it right here. So it looks like we are at a 300 million year old coral reef on the top of a mountain in Utah. Now, while Ron's at a fossilized coral reef, I'm on my way to a prehistoric lake in Kemmerer, Wyoming. How's it going? Hey, I take it, are you my dinosaur boy? Yes, we are. Awesome. So this is kind of your fish map. So your nighties and diplos, these are schooling fish, lots of them, lots of pieces of them. Then we have our uncommons, our priskies, our pharaohs, our myos, our amphis. Then we have our stingrays, gar, amia, and paddlefish. It's rare for a reason, don't be discouraged if you don't find them. That's the goal though. We're gonna find a gar today. As of right now, I'm calling it, I'm going to find more fossils than Ron did, hands down. But at the end, we'll actually look at both of the fossils that we found and see who really was better. But it was, it's gonna be me. We're just gonna start with one of these and see what happens. I mean, that one has a fish already exposed. Look at that, so good. Okay, I'm gonna go right here. Ugh. Hey, fish poop. Cause that's, it does count as a fossil. It's just not a good fossil. It's not what we're looking for. You know what? I'm feeling unlucky in this spot. We're gonna find somewhere else. There we go. Found one, finally. Woo! That's a good one. At this point, time was ticking down, so I really needed to start finding some fossils. Now the fossils you find might be the original article, per mineralized and surviving all this time, but you can also find mineral casts where the fossil has eroded away and the space left behind in the rock has been filled in with mineral. Oh, does that look like a shell to you? Looks like the top of some sort of a clam shell or something. I bet Ben's only finding one valve down there though. Oh, I think I've got something in here too. It's like a little crystallized shell. Looks like. If I could get some cracks, I could do more controlled prying. Oh, oh. I think I've got a shell and then the other side. It's a good size. See how nice and rounded that is? We've only been looking for a couple of minutes and we've already found a handful of fossils, so let's check in on how Ben's doing. Time was ticking and I had just started to find some good stuff when all of a sudden this happened. Did that just get opened? Who got that one? It's for you guys. That's oh. for us? Oh my goodness. Wow, Ashton, literally the coolest guy ever. Like if you come here to Fossil Lake, give that man a tip. That was really cool, but I've got to get back to the hunt if I want to beat Ron. Okay, I got to get going. I don't know how Ron's doing, but I, uh, I got to try to up my game a little bit here because I've only found one okay fish fossil so far. Oh, there's something. I just don't want to damage that more, you know? But hey, that's pretty good, yeah. Look at that one. So right when we first started, Ashton did a demo for us where he split a rock open and it just split like perfectly in half. I, I am struggling to do that. Oh, there we go. Just put a nice fat chisel mark right in the middle of that one. But there's a nice fish tail. I'll go ahead and pocket that one. Oh, 
Yes! Finally got something. There is a little fishy. One more, add one more to the list. If Ron finds better fossils than me, I'll eat his hat. When digging for fossils, something you might not think about is how you're gonna carry them out. I'm looking for little stuff and I've got plenty of pockets on myself, but if you're expecting to find some pieces that might have a little bit more heft, like some of these larger rocks, might be worth planning a bag with some empty space at the start of your trip to account for taking stuff home with you. Oh yeah, looks like I've got a bit of a crinoid stem right there. I don't wanna hurt the specimen. Oh no, I did exactly what I want, didn't want to do. You can see we've got a bit of a crinoid stem there and you can see it's cross section where this face is broken open. Oh, there's a coral. See the impression there, the bottom there. They were fit together just like that. Oh, got a little bit more of that one. See an absolute ton of stuff it looks like right here. We're closing in on our time here, so I'm hoping I can find at least one more fossil. I just really wanna get some of these out of here. Wait, what time is it? 2.20, I have 10 minutes. 10 minutes to win this thing. Did we possibly get a video of you using your powered thing? Do you wanna try using it? I sure, I'd love to. This is so much cooler than just a hammer and pick. Well, not really finding anything, but uh, that, was, that was pretty cool. <laughs> I just spent five minutes doing that, so I only have five minutes left, but it was so worth it. Let's, let's see if we can find at least one more fossil before time runs out. Here we go. Oh no, there's something right there. I can see it. Oh, it's the half of a fish. Oh, well, here's the other half. <laughs> no, that's the whole fish. Just split down the middle. Yeah, I'm not getting any more out of this. Looks really good though. I think that's it for time but I also think that I won. So let's head on back to the dinosaur park and we'll count up the total number of fossils we found. Well, I hate to break it to you, Ron, I think I won. I, it didn't even find the big one there. No, but I'm counting it for myself. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed. Super special thanks to Fossil Lake Safari. Even though we paid them to go there, they treated us like royalty, especially Cheryl and Ashton. Thank you guys so, so much. If you wanna check them out, we'll put the link down in the description. And if you wanna dig for invertebrate fossils for free, make sure you check with the Bureau of Land Management and the National Forest Service, along with a local geologic survey. Thanks again for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification, and we'll see you next time.